So hello guys and welcome here to a new video and today we are going to talk about layer 3 and pretty much their airdrop details because today as you know the snapshot actually has ended for season 1 regarding the cubes and they pretty much made an announcement on Twitter where they explained a bit moving forward what's actually to come regarding the airdrop regarding the tokenomics itself and obviously we are having a look on how you potentially can qualify for season two regarding the layer three airdrop and if that sounds something you would like to watch well i suggest you should leave a like comment and subscribe because that helps the channel out quite a lot and without further ado let's actually get started so First of all, what actually is Layer 3? Well, Layer 3 pretty much is a community-based application where their aim is to actually introduce people to new crypto projects as well as also new crypto blockchains. And one of their ways to do that is by providing quests over on Layer 3 itself. And if you already been on the site, you pretty much know how this is actually working. For example, the best thing we can look at how you actually can qualify for the airdrop or better to say how you could have qualified for the airdrop was by collecting cubes. And those cubes you pretty much got from doing quests over on layer three, depending obviously on the quest you are doing. Either it's free or you have to mint a certain NFT or just do a few transactions regarding a certain amount of volume and then you pretty much can proceed on minting the cubes. And if you have done that, well, today the snapshot pretty much has ended for the season one. And if we now head over onto the page pretty much where we had the trophy road, we now see a bit of a different interface. And as you can see right here, the season one has ended and the snapshot has been saved. Here you have some key information such as the level we achieved, the quests we made, the cubes we minted, and also the date we joined, the bridging and swap volume, the amount of people I referred, as well as the GM streak, and obviously the total XP that we have earned. And as you can see right there, civil accounts do not count and will be removed once detected. So if you pretty much have been a civil user, it's sadly and very likely that you are not even going to be in the first snapshot. In some way, I think that's somewhat good because then obviously the airdrop will be distributed a bit more fair amongst the community. But nevertheless, it still sucks if you spend a lot of money over on layer three and you have done it on multiple wallets and you didn't really do it the smart way, well, then you just burned a lot of money. But that's a bit part of crypto, that's always the case. And with the information we pretty much see over here, we can already pretty much summarize up what there will be for the next airdrop itself, because they already stated there will be more airdrops to come. And I think a season two is very likely. And again, what I think is very important for the season two is simply the cubes itself. And I think also a good thing to actually have a look at is the bridging and the swap volume, simply because it is already shown over on the side right here. One thing that's also very highlighted in my opinion is the XP in general, which means you could also do quests which don't really give you any cubes. And that is one thing that I haven't really done in the past. I only aimed for the quests that pretty much gave you cubes. And that is one thing why I didn't really have done that many quests compared to like the amount of cubes I have. But nevertheless, in the future, I might honestly pick up some more normal quests to be a bit in a better position regarding the next snapshot. Also one thing to quick mention were the achievements. Currently they are not really shown on the snapshot itself or better to say on the page where you have all the information. Could it be that those are useless? Well, that's definitely hard to say. So far we cannot really yeah, say anything regarding that because we honestly don't know it myself and only the future can pretty much tell if those were actually some use case or those were just there to exist. Nevertheless, one thing that we can have a look at is the introduction of the layer 3 token, where you already see a bit what you can expect regarding uh, the token itself. And here we have 
the identifier, which is the token ticker, and that will be L3 when in the early summer. The total token supply will be 300 million and the community allocation, which is one of the biggest allocation regarding the community itself is 51% of the total supply. And I think honestly, that is one of the best uh, approach regarding an airdrop itself. Nevertheless, the initial airdrop will only distribute 5% of the total entry supply to early adopters and cube minters. There will be multiple airdrops, more details to come. And that already is one thing that already tells us that you should keep an eye out on layer 3 because if 51% of the total supply is there for the community allocation, well, you can expect airdrops and that not only once or twice but you could see them as the optimism airdrop because in the past optimism already has done four airdrops regarding optimism tokens the first was pretty much just for the user that were on the blockchain itself the second one mistaken we're revolving around governance so if you ever did governance over on optimism you were eligible for the second one the third one were regarding nfts if you traded and held any NFTs on Optimism, you qualified for that. And I think the fourth airdrop was just for your activity in general over on Optimism. I could be a bit wrong with the criteria, but we could see a similar thing for layer 3 also, because um, you already see here that you will be able to stake and earn L3 incentivize. And we already had that pretty much in the past where you get rewards for simply participating in different quests. The latest example would be the mission 200k where you were getting USDC rewards based on the progress that you made during the missions and again that is very important for the future because then we pretty much can already prepare for what is to come, how that most likely is going to work. And again, I think layer three will be a successful airdrop in my opinion. And yeah, moving forward, the best thing you can already do, even though the snapshot has ended, is continue to collect cubes and continue to push your experience. Maybe try to get to level 20, try to get level 30. Some simply be in the top 1% of layer 3 and then I would say you are guaranteed a very good allocation guarding the next airdrop which is to come because if we know that 51% of their total token will be for the community and only 5% will be for the first airdrop we know that 46% of the other tokens most likely are going to be distributed either to stakeholders of layer 3 or in potential reward campaign such as additional seasons or simply for bridging rewards or trading rewards. Nevertheless, that's pretty much it for layer 3. I hope to bring some better news regarding layer 3 and more about their next season in the future. And if you want to see that, well, stay subscribed and also join the Discord in the description down below. Bye bye.